in, in quite a while and I thought I better give you an update on what's going on. Um, first of all, uh, Connie's doing great. Uh, we found a surgeon to repair that he does uh, re sur surgeries to repair other surgeons' surgeries. And uh, Dr. Zarza were in Mobile. I uh, gave her a total hip replacement. She's up and around. She's doing just, just great. Uh, as you know, we sold our fish camp and we moved over here uh, northwest of Mobile. And uh, in the midst of all of that going on, uh, my check engine light came on. And I thought I had um, a, a blocked valve because it felt like a, a walnut was in the center of my back. Uh, I was out of breath and anything I did, um, I could fall asleep at the drop of a pin. I, uh, my pulse was always racing, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and, well, I took off 25 pounds almost immediately by not eating bread. That was my total, total diet plan. Don't eat bread. So if that helps you, uh, that's great. Well, when we got over here, they have excellent heart surgeons, and uh, come to find out, I was in atrial fibrillation. The top chambers of my heart were beating at roughly a thousand beats per minute, and just fluttering. The feeling that I would have at night with that was like a, a carbonation, like you drink a Coca-Cola, and you know, but instead of it coming out in the back of your throat, it's right here in the top of my chest. So, um, once I did know what was going on, at night I would sleep on my left hand side, and this is why your heart works like this. The top chambers, the atria, pump and load these bottom chambers, the ventricles, and then they pump. Well, the blood is coming up in this direction, in your right side, into this atria. This pumps into the ventricle. It pumps out into your lungs. Goes from the lungs into this atria. It pumps, loads this ventricle, and it pumps into your body. So if you're laying on your left-hand side with atria that are not working right and the blood is simply just falling into these chambers, you're getting whatever you get. Um, by, by sleeping on your left hand side, it makes it easier for the blood to fall into this first chamber and get pumped out, and that helps load the next chamber. So that's the idea behind that. Um, I'm on a heart monitor now. I mean, you know, they've taken excellent care of me. I had two shocks. Uh, they put the paddles on the front and the back of you now instead of, you know, on the front. Uh, I'm a slow learner, I guess, because it took two shocks for me to get going. So far, I'm in good shape, but uh, we just got back from the electrician who uh, takes care of these things, and he warned me that the, the um, fibrillation is probably going to come back. It, it almost always does. The next steps will be to run a wire up into the heart. The center of your heart has, has these nodes that fire, and they'll find which, out, which one is given trouble, and they'll neutralize it. It's called an ablation. That's what they'll do. Um, and that'll happen whenever it happens, you know. So, um, there's no pain with this or anything else. I'm fine, you know, feel fine now. Uh, and back to normal, as far as I can tell. As far as the 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 movies go, um, I'll pick that up when I, when I can. For right now, I'm just kind of taking it easy. Um, I would remind you, though, that the movies are totally free. Uh, you can, uh, you know, people are incorporating them into their own playlists and everything, uh, the material that we put out, especially on when we were out west, 
it's it's nice to see that that so many young people are taking that and running with it you know that how to crack and crevice and all of those things and get get gold out of that and they're making their own channels out of it and that is that is just wonderful um, you know as of 2010 14 years ago we had crossed the six million mark people watching our movies who knows what it is now so if you can take any of that material whether it's aviation whatever it is you're free to steal it uh, you know uh, if, you, if you can make something and teach somebody something with that especially the faceting whatever it is run with it you got our permission you don't have to ask anything you know just 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 do it I am writing some uh, uh, on Quora, Q-U-O-R-A. Uh, I think I'm the 10th most popular aviation writer on that platform at this point. Uh, mainly on rocket engines, jet engines, um, radial engines, any kind of aircraft engine, the F-22, the F-35, all those kinds of things. You know, it keeps keeping my mind sharp while I'm, I'm going through this uh, predicament, whatever I, whatever we're doing. But um, I just wanted you to know what's going on with the mischief. The mischief, you know, we did the final voyage of the mischief and uh, years ago on our trawler. And uh, people have, you know, left us so many kind messages that we you know we saved their marriage we taught them how to be married we taught them how to work as a team we you know you talk i thought we were making a boating movie but i had no idea that you know people would get all of that from it the mischief itself once we sold it disappeared and uh, it was within maybe a year six months of being broken up a couple fans of ours, George and Donna Rush, um, found it and totally restored it to better than new. It's uh, they're in Evanston, Ohio, and uh, it's up there. It's fantastic, uh, you know. But things like that, we've met people all over the United States, and uh, certainly talk with you over the over the internet I still answer questions on all of the movies I'm doing all of that um, and the correspondence and everything that we've got from all of our fans you know five times the number of people that lived in my hometown follow us and uh, it's such a humbling thing uh, and that that doesn't count the millions that, you know, are, are following on the internet on, on things that I write and other things that I do. So, um, I couldn't have dreamed years ago when we put that first movie up that it would have such an impact. I'm very grateful that it's helped all of the people that it has. Because remember, it doesn't matter how many badges or honors you put on your own chest. It's what you can do for others to help them help themselves. Good luck to you. We wish you all the best in the world. And uh, until we meet again, good luck.